What is up, Rivals? Welcome back to yet another episode of Heaven Strike Rivals. My name is Sarcasm, and today we're going to be taking a look at some upcoming balance changes that they're going to be doing to the game. Now, keep in mind, I haven't been playing this game for a super, super long time. It's only been like three weeks, maybe a month, I don't know. But I feel like I do have a, a pretty good handle on, you know, the general balance of the game, the, the meta game and how the units work and all that. So I feel like I kind of speak on this a little bit, give you guys kind of my thoughts and my opinion on some of the changes. Now, I, I actually haven't had access to all these units that have been changed, but a lot of them I have had some time to play with. And uh, with that said, let's get into it. So first of all, they said the primary purpose of the adjustments is to make fighters a more balanced and interesting class to use. Now that is kind of interesting because in the past, the, I, pretty much every single one of my decks were based around um, pretty rush heavy. Maybe that's just my playstyle, but regardless, they were all pretty much based around scouts, gunners, mages, and healers thrown in there. Not really defenders or fighters. Now, does that mean that fighters are bad? No, just because I didn't use them, that doesn't mean that at all. Of course not. But I just haven't implemented, I haven't felt the want to implement a fighter into my deck or implement like a fighter base deck or anything like that and uh who knows what this will bring so because they weren't too specific on that but they were pretty specific on the actual changes on some of the units so such as this pub bouncer max stats have changed from hp 8 and attack 4 to hp 7 <laughs> they can make these stats a little bit more readable in the patch notes but all right so from hp 8 they just re removed one hp and one uh point in and attack as well so from three to two that's still pretty decent i'm pretty sure he is a defender um for a defender that that's pretty solid you know two mana three attack seven hp at max keep in mind this is all maxed out so and that is one star but you're not really going to use a one star uh, man usually so anyway next up is ldf flight officer slash commander which is the evolution and the max stats have changed from hp5 and attack three to hp4 and attack five so actually they changed up the stats completely you know instead of just a, a nerf or a buff they kind of switched it around in the sense that they buffed the attack and nerfed the hp and reduced the mana cost to two so that's pretty solid for a two mana unit that is definitely that's pretty solid i like i would use this unit if i had it next up claw chopper cleaver this is one of the units that i haven't had a chance to use I'm, I'm not even sure if i have one i don't know to be honest but i haven't had a chance to use them but still let's take a look at the changes so skill poison strike from okay so just a buff on the poison strike and uh it greatly increased the chance to poison an enemy and the max stats were nerfed by just one hp and reduced mana cost by one so this just makes it a little bit more reliable unit it's still a percentage based chance so you might you know still get screwed over sometimes unfortunately but it is just you know a slightly better chance that you're going to actually be able to hit the targets now as far as the ldf sword wielder great sword or the ldf great sword excuse me mana cost just reduced from three to two nothing too insane there uh the magnus stone press or the great corinthian that's evolution the max stats change from hp 11 and attack 4 to hp 12 and attack 5 so a one up buff all around pretty cool once again another unit that i haven't had access to or haven't had any sort of contact with next up uh, my first legendary oh no wait was it my first i don't know one of the legendaries i got you saw me pull this in a previous video and this they actually buffed this so i am hyped about that they did nerf the hp by one um but they did also re reduce the mana cost by one so i'm obviously hyped about that because i just pulled this as a legendary and um i didn't feel like it was too strong with at three mana now at two mana i could definitely see myself implementing this into some decks it is a defender um which is not something i really go for in decks i usually go for more rush heavy decks but i could still maybe work or a deck you know different deck around this or work it in there somehow and uh but i do like that change yeah cool especially because i got one so i'm a little biased but oh well. next up the witch doctor slash the earth whisper it's evolution max stats change they just reduce the attack by one reduce the mana cost by one i feel like they just there were just too many three mana cost units and uh that's you know a big change they're trying to make they didn't really mention that but that seems to be the case next up the crystal the healer they specifically made a note that they're going to be changing her specifically and they just removed the damage aspect of her her skill and instead just makes units vulnerable and doesn't do any damage on its own next up order apostle missionary order apostle blah, 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 order order like uh, dude that's like a tongue twister i dare you try to say order apostle 
or miss an area. Oh my goodness, that is ridiculously difficult. Anyway, max stats change from HP 6 or attack and attack 2. They just reduce the HP by 1. And finally, the LDF Constable or the LDF Sergeant, which is the evolution. They just change the HP. They reduce it by 1. So just overall, you know, a couple of tweaks here and there. Um, I'm ha super happy about this. The OK Lyric because I just pulled him slash her. He's a tree, so I don't know if it's a him or her. But I just pulled them in a recruitment pull and... Uh, super hyped about that so yeah pretty much some some general changes a little bit balance changes big fighter change apparently coming in not sure what it, that is exactly all about but anyway guys that is pretty much it i hope you guys did enjoy if you did don't forget to subscribe for some more heaven strike rivals as well as many other games including rival kingdoms and heroes of the storm with that said thank you for watching peace